late Harry and Meghan have no chance of returning to royals after bitter rejection. Hello, and a very warm welcome back to our The Top Half News channel. When I was a child, people always told me that there was no such word as can't. So, alright. In theory, maybe that's the case. And so maybe Harry could actually become a working royal again, but how likely is that to actually happen? I think think not very, Harry has completely blown it when it comes to his future. And he's pretty much ruined his past as well. See people no longer see him as this fun, loving prince that he once was. And it seems that we've also learned that maybe that person was never real in the first place. See, I do think, Harry's always been disagreeable. He's always had a temper. He's always been jealous and he's just not a very nice person. Apparently, even his mother despaired of him at times. Now, once he was one of the most popular royals. Sure. But now at this point, I think only Meghan and Andrew are below him in terms of popularity. And he doesn't have the sense to even understand that all of this is his fault. Everything he tries just seems to add his already numerous failures and this trip to the Platinum Jubilee that only highlights everything that is wrong in his life. He just looked so angry. It seemed like he really expected them to lay the fatted calf out before him. He thought he was going to be able to easily return to the inner circle of his family, that they would welcome him with open arms. But instead they put him in his place. He was a lumped in with the lower ranking non-working royals. And as he and Meghan left St. Paul's Cathedral, they were booed. He only had Meghan and his corner, no longer a family intimate. He's pretty much ostracized by everybody at this point. And it does seem like he and Meghan might have been told off for that window appearance. They made it the trooping the color, also for having the gall to admonish the children who were not even their own. There was also a rumor floating around that he and Prince Charles had some kind of showdown and Harry was sent packing. His brother pretty much ignored them both. Good job William. So if the Queen really did meet her namesake Lily Bed, the story goes that the Queen maybe did have a photo taken, but it remains her copyright and Meghan and Harry are not going to be able to sell it to the highest bidder. At every turn, they have been stopped and their ambitions to be seen as much-loved members of the family. The firm has officially closed ranks, excluding Harry and Meghan. Their whole lives are just driven by hatred and lies. I mean, were the children actually born to Meghan or were they born to surrogates? And what is the deal with Archie? Is he even real? Why do they never mention him? It's so bizarre. And what is the truth about Lily Bed? Why don't we see photos of her? Why doesn't she make any public appearances who actually takes care of those kids? Where is Doria? Do Harry and Meghan even have a real relationship? Do they even do anything together? And do they even have any friends? Why does every single thing they touched turn to dust? Have they ever actually achieved anything meaningful? How much money are they really making and where is it coming from and why can't either of them come up with any kind of good idea for Netflix and why can't they come up with content for Spotify either? Who are they really? What kind of people are they? What do they spend all day doing? There are so many questions we have, but there are no answers. And I think the world is getting pretty bored with their games. I just don't see them rising out of the ashes, like a phoenix. Instead, I just think they're going to continue to sink lower and lower. For Harry to ever make a return, he would have to change in a significant way. And I just don't think it's possible for him. He would have to be pretty much an entirely different person. His character would have to completely change. He would have to stop being the person he is now, and really try to understand how he has ended up in this state. How has he ended up in 6,000 miles away from all that he knew and loved and with a woman who is evil? Harry would have to finally accept that he is the second son. He's the brother of the heir to the throne. And the truth is he is way down the pecking order. He's behind the Cambridge kids. He would need to apologize sincerely to everybody, 
including the entire UK population. Harry would have to show that he's sorry that it's not just lip service. I think maybe he could live a simple life and do charitable work that would help, but he's just proudly publishing this book as the man I have become. So I don't think he's going to change at all. And I think Meghan really expected that she was going to be the shining star of the whole show, that she was going to be smiling, that Cheshire Cat grin, that she was going to be so popular and in her wonderful. And I imagine incredibly expensive white outfit, that big hat, the gloves, how could we forget the gloves? She really thought that she was going to outshine everybody else and prove to the whole world that she really is a much-loved and included member of the royal family. But instead, the message they received was that they were no longer wanted. They're not a part of the royal family anymore, and they're certainly not popular with the British people anymore. You could just look at Harry throughout the whole thing and see that he's really got a bad temper and he behaved so obnoxiously. And if Meghan was wearing a microphone, which I think she was how disgraceful. Meghan has been known to record stuff that people do not want to be recorded. So I think that she was probably doing that. She could have been doing it on her cell phone too. And I think this does spell disaster for Meghan and Harry, but on the other hand, it seems like Netflix is just happy with all the coverage. The two of them have gotten. Instead of a cozy series of shows about life with Harry and Meghan. Now, apparently their new idea is just to record their downfall. They're thinking it'll be more popular. So if they just highlight their fall from much love senior royal, coupled at the total failures that they are today. And if that's what they decide to do, then I think the fall from grace for Meghan and Harry will be officially complete. There will be nothing left for them at all. And not even Spotify has been able to bring out more than one measly podcast. I mean, whatever happened to archetypes, considering their starting point, it would be pretty difficult to believe that they have not managed to do a single thing that's actually successful since they ran away from the UK. And even when they were still working royals, they didn't do much right. So if there is a moral to this story of Meghan and Harry, then it should be this young people. If you are searching for fame and money and you don't really have anything to back up your desire for fame and money, then you're not in for a good time. Meghan truly is the creator of her own destruction. And it is going to be interesting to see if she's ever able to pick up the pieces and find success again after all this. William, the Duke of Cambridge, his job is to perform special functions as a royal and as a future king. So that includes his family, the Platinum Jubilee. It was a celebration of the Duke of Cambridge's grandmother and queen. Events most definitely were scheduled way in advance and his schedule was carefully planned out accordingly. Harry didn't bother giving notice that he was even going to come to the Platinum Jubilee until June 1st. By that time, the royal calendars were already full. And at that time, people were only speculating that maybe Harry would have a birthday party for his daughter while they were in the UK. So in the end, it doesn't really matter if there are personal issues between Harry and William. Obviously, the Duke of Cambridge was not able to just change his plans at the drop of the hat. By the time, Harry announced what he was actually going to do. And I am 100% sure that was something Harry knew. So that Harry just allows speculation to be raised that his brother possibly snubbed him. When obviously he knew all about the obligations placed on him. To me, that just shows that Harry is bitter and he just wants to see William in a bad light. It would be very easy for him to put out a statement that he understood short notice and time constraints had an impact on whether or not they were going to be able to see each other. And Harry was the one who left in celebration early. All the royal obligations just went on. He could have easily stayed in England a few days longer if he really wanted to enjoy time with the family that he hasn't seen much of lately. This just shows that he does not appreciate the royals' roles and jobs. And actually he doesn't have a real desire to spend any meaningful time with his family. So you to me, this behavior just reminds me of a spoiled child. A child who wants what they want when they want it. And they won't take no for an answer. So Harry, like a spoiled child, he couldn't handle hearing. No. 
so he just ran away and went back home. Now, according to some people, Harry was stopped, but if you really understand the context for everything, Harry was the one who didn't want to be an act of royal life anymore. He was the one who wanted to leave. And of course that choice was going to have consequence. Harry also was the one who decided he needed to attack his entire family in front of the whole world on multiple occasions. You know what? His nasty words also have consequences. I don't know if too many people who would welcome him warmly after what he did. And meanwhile, his grandfather was dying in the hospital and his grandmother was having a really difficult time. I think many people would agree that, you know what, because of his actions and because of the timing of those actions, maybe he doesn't deserve to be forgiven. And you, what do you think about the traitorous couple? Please let me know your opinion below in the comments section, and we'll talk some more about Meghan and Harry. Don't be afraid to like and share my video with anyone else who needs it. If you prefer to tonight and please subscribe so that you don't miss any new updates from the Top Half Use YouTube channel. Again, thank you so much for tuning in, have a lovely evening, and I'll be back to see you all tomorrow.